Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today for our webinar series, DLT and Blockchain in the Real World. We created this series to highlight how Hedera is being used in production with new and existing applications, real users, and solving real problems, something that you don't necessarily always see in the blockchain and DLT space. In past webinars, we've learned about Hedera is used for applications in media and entertainment, healthcare, agriculture, supply chain, uh, so many different use cases. And in today's webinar, we're going to dive into how public uh, distributed ledgers and specifically Adara can be used in the creator economy, specifically with the project Galaxy. So we've got Cooper Coons here. He's the CTO at Galaxy. He's also the former developer evangelist at Hedera, and he's going to dive into some of the challenges that exist in the creator economy today and how Hedera enables certain aspects of the application, such as uh, minting of NFTs for creator tokens, USDC payments, governance, things of that nature, uh, as well as a sneak peek into how they're planning to use the smart contracts 2.0 service on Hedera. Uh, we'll leave some time for Q&A at the end. I'm sure everyone's uh, got a lot of questions that they'll want to have answered. So be sure to drop your questions into the specific Q&A box at the bottom of the Zoom chat, not the chat box. And we expect today's event to go anywhere from 30 minutes to maybe 45 minutes or an hour, depending on how many questions we get. So let's get started. To kick things off, we have a lot of new folks that are joining us today. Uh, so I'm going to dive into just a quick overview of Adara before passing things off to Cooper. So this is a complete overview of Hedera. And it starts with the Hashgraph consensus mechanism that underlies the Hedera uh, network, the mainnet, the testnet, the preview net, anything that you're building applications on using Hedera software. Uh, Hashgraph consensus, uh, it was recently announced that it's going to be open sourced and actually uh, owned by Hedera. And that transfer is happening later this year. On top of Hashgraph consensus and the main net are the Hedera network services. Those are open source as well. Consensus service, token service, and smart contract service. Uh, specifically, we're going to be learning about all three today as they're utilized by Galaxy. All of those services and Hashgraph consensus are governed by the Hedera Governing Council, which we'll get to in just a minute. Governing Council makes decisions for the code base, they govern the network, they uh, manage the treasury. And then on top of those services, application developers are building applications that satisfy specific use cases that utilize those services, and then obviously end users of those applications. Uh, today, I had mentioned governance. In the last slide, Hedera's uh, governing body consists of up to 39 leading global organizations across 11 industries, um, universities, and nonprofits. Every member of the governing council is required to run a network node. So it is a permission network today, but will be a permissionless network in the future. Uh, members aren't compensated by uh, beyond network node payments. They have an equal vote. There's a number of committees that allow them to govern the network, including membership committee, a technical steering and product committee, uh, treasury management, uh, and more. And then there's term limits as well, how long a council member can be on the governing council. So it's uh, limited in time, uh, as well as geography and industry and everything else. Uh, the first 38 members are selected by uh, Hedera and then council membership committee is to find replacements. And this is a list of all of the governing council members today uh, across Boeing, Chainlink Labs, Magalu, Google, um, a lot of uh, large companies in, um, in tech, banking, um, even in the, the Web3 space with Chainlink Labs there as well. You can learn more about the Governing Council at hedera.com forward slash council. And with that, I'm going to pass things over to Cooper Coons. 
And we're gonna learn a little bit about how they're utilizing Hedera's network services to build the application Galaxy. Thank you, Brady, I appreciate it. It's, a, it's an honor and a pleasure to be back on the Hedera webinar series. Uh, for those that know me, my name is Cooper. Uh, Brady mentioned I used to be the developer evangelist at Hedera. Uh, so you might recognize me from the Gossip About Gossip podcast series or some of the other tutorials that are out there for Hedera. Um, but as he mentioned, I no longer work there. I am now the CTO at uh, the creator economy application called Galaxy. Um, and I'm excited to be here with you. So let me try and share my screen really quickly. Brady, can you yell at me if that does not look uh, correct? Or uh, feel free to yell, yell at me in the chat if that does not look correct either. Yeah, um, fine. Okay, cool. Um, so awesome. So I'm, I'm here from Galaxy. I'm the, the chief technology officer over there, um, and I'm going to talk about what we're building uh, and how we're built bringing the creator economy to Hedera, uh, do a deep dive into some of our services, what we're doing. Um, and yeah, so we'll start off by talking about what is Galaxy. After that, we'll talk a little bit about our mission, what our goals are, uh, where we fit into the picture. After that, we'll talk about how we use the Hedera network, as Brady mentioned, there's three core network services for Hedera. Uh, we use all of them. Uh, we're very excited to be uh, contributing open source software back to the community and hoping that people actually use our services to help their solutions when they're building on Hedera. Uh, at the end, we'll do a very brief, a uh, little bit, bit of a teaser, a live product demo uh, of an op open source network tool that we've built, as well as the core Galaxy application. Uh, this will be one of the first times anyone outside of our early access group has had uh, an opportunity to see Galaxy and what we've been building. Uh, so really exclusive early insights. Um, the product is changing on a, on a daily, weekly basis as we continue improving, adding new features. Um, so really honored that you guys are all be, be with us today and, and get to see this early, early insights. Um, and last but not least, you know, we'll definitely save some time for Q&A at the end. Uh, so if you have any questions throughout the presentation, you know, put them in the webinar uh, chat and we'll, we'll answer them at the end. Um, hopefully I can, you know, field any questions and we can definitely hang around for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, what is, what is Galaxy at a high level? Um, so Galaxy is a Web3 social platform that is built on Hedera. You know, that's why we're here today and, and to talk about it. Uh, we have three core focus areas that we want to be, you know, really, really great at. Um, you know, we do other things beyond these, but we support NFTs. Uh, we are also one of the first platforms in the world to cohesively integrate non-fungible tokens with social or community or personal tokens. Um, and beyond that, you know, we have this grand vision and kind of an ambitious goal of being the standard for Web3 social media. Uh, you know, talking about Web3 social is, is a little bit out of the scope of what we're covering here today, uh, but it's very much something that Galaxy wants to be at the forefront and contributing to. Um, so these are the three things that we're focused on at Galaxy. Uh, we'll dive into how we, you know, what products, what services we have and, and where we fit into the space. Um, so on Galaxy, you can do a bunch of stuff like this. So you can mint and sell and hold social tokens. These are things like Spencer Dinwiddie is our founder. He's an NBA player. He plays for the Washington Wizards. And you can see on the right here that there is an SGD26 coin. Uh, so fans can buy into social tokens that are from their favorite celebrities, their content creators, uh, different types of communities or brands that they may care about. With those social tokens, these celebrities can turn on and flip on paid experiences. Uh, so you can see that we have workout with Zeke that someone turned on. Uh, you can do live video messages. You can do premium or paid DMs, uh, paid followings. The creators can really flip these on and customize them to whatever they want. Uh, you know, someone that's a professional athlete might have a very, very different set of experiences that they offer uh, from someone that's a Twitch streamer or an esports fan. Uh, we also allow people to mint, sell, and auction NFTs. Uh, so these are, you know, non-fungible tokens that could be anything from images to videos to music itself. Uh, we really hope to support kind of a broad range of functionalities that people are hoping to do uh, 
with NFTs. So it's it's not just kind of point and shoot. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do with NFTs and uh, some interesting ways that you can actually use those NFTs uh, in exchange for some of those paid experiences that we just talked about. Uh, additionally, we have monthly subscriptions to what we call fan clubs. Uh, you can see on the right a good example of what it looks like when you see a post within Spencer's fan club. And if you subscribe to that and you're paying uh, his social token on a monthly basis, uh, you get access to those pr that, that premium content and those paid experiences. Um, you know, we are a social platform. Everyone has their own profile. And one of our goals is to be the coolest place to display NFT collections. Um, you saw Twitter actually put out their new functionality where you can verify your profile picture. Uh, you know, we're hopefully a few steps ahead of them still where you can actually go to someone's profile and see all of the NFTs they choose to display uh, and brag about and kind of showcase in one place. Um, in order to support that functionality and be one of the coolest places in the industry to brag about your NFT collections, you know, we allow you to import and export NFTs from a variety of blockchain-based ecosystems. Uh, you can see some of our partners over here on the right that we're very excited about. Uh, but it's not just one collection. It's not just displaying your NFTs on Galaxy. Uh, you can show off all the NFTs that you own across the entire industry and ecosystem. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about how we use Hedera and what that means for our user base, uh, but everyone in our application can really easily and non-custodially, uh, so you hold your own private keys, you can hold HBAR, you can hold Hedera-based USDC, uh, you can hold Galaxy tokens in addition to those social tokens and NFTs that we talked about. Um, and last but not least, you know, another thing that you can do is you can vote on big decisions from these creators and make paid polls uh, so this is Spencer choosing what shoes he's going to wear tonight against the Lakers. Uh, and if he wants to, people have to actually pay him with his social token in order to influence his life and his decisions. Um, it's, it's a really interesting use case. Um, this is not the total set of features that we support. These are just a few that make us unique that we wanted to highlight and share with the community. Uh, you know, during the live demo, you'll see how these actually work and are, end up in the application. Um, but we're really excited to be one of the first applications that really tightly couples, you know, a, a social media feed with social tokens, with community tokens, and NFTs right on people's profiles. Uh, so it's definitely a unique product that we're taking to market. Um, and this is all just to say that, you know, we're building an, one application. Uh, this is the first use case of what is ultimately a protocol and a standard for issuing and managing creator tokens as well as NFTs. Um, you know, all of these applications can run on what we call the Creators Galaxy Protocol. So this is a standard way to issue, manage NFTs and social tokens, and you can participate in this kind of broad, cohesive ecosystem. Um, if you're building applications that use things like creator tokens, like celebrity tokens or NFTs, uh, we highly encourage you to reach out to us and get in touch. Um, and so we can build kind of the standard protocol across the ecosystem. Um, and with all that being said, you know, everything that we do is decentralized on Hedera Hashgraph. Uh, when, you, when you integrate with us, when you build applications within this ecosystem, uh, they're also decentralized on Hedera Hashgraph. Uh, the ability to port assets, to port experiences across applications is one of the most interesting value propositions of blockchains. Um, and so, you know, we highly encourage this kind of open source collaborative effort uh, to build, you know, what isn't just us, what isn't just a single application, but a broad ecosystem dedicated to empowering content creators. Um, and so we talked about what is Galaxy. Um, you know, we'll, we'll show it to you in a little bit and give you a little tease. Uh, and it's all great to list what we do and, and what services you have. But, you know, at the end of the day, our, our mission is to bring the creator economy to Hedera. Um, you know, one of our thesis is that everyone's talking about things like NFTs, everyone's talking about social tokens. Uh, but unless you have access to a lot of capital, access to some friends or someone that's already in the space, uh, or a lot of time on your hands, it's still really way too hard to get started for most people. Um, and so, you know, we hope to target the early and late majority of, uh, you know, Web2 users and, and help bridge them into Web3 uh, by introducing these, you know, unfamiliar concepts in familiar ways. Um, and so, you know, again, our mission is to bring uh, the creator economy to, to Hedera and the network at large. 
Um, we really see kind of four, uh, well, I guess Roham, uh, the founder of Dapper Labs and CryptoKitties, uh, who's an advisor to Galaxy uh, in 2018 after CryptoKitties broke the Ethereum network effectively by being too popular, uh, identified what are four barriers to entry for mainstream usage of blockchains and distributed ledger technologies. Uh, so you can see he listed speed, scale, cost, and user experience. Um, and I, I think that this was very much true at the time that he said it. Um, and, and there's been a lot of hard work since then. And you know, what's nice for us is that we really see speed, scale, and cost as addressed by choosing to build on top of Hedera. Uh, so Hedera can handle tens or hundreds of thousands of transactions per second, depending on what your use case is. Um, and those transactions will be settled within you know, two to five seconds for deterministic finality. Uh, it's not probabilistic. You're not waiting for additional block confirmations. Uh, you know at a point in time whether or not your transactions went through. Um, and beyond that, beyond predictable speed and scale, uh, having predictable costs is hugely important to us. So the fact that Hedera pegs their fees to US dollars, and we always know what it's going to cost our users to create an NFT, to create a social token, to transfer it around, uh, is incredibly important for targeting those early and late majority users that aren't yet onboarded to crypto. Um, and so you can see, you know, myself and, and my colleague Paul Madsen uh, worked at Hedera for, for a number of years. Paul Madsen uh, was one of the co-authors of the original Hedera white paper. Uh, he also contributed to a variety of the standards and specifications that you now see and are using if you're building on Hedera. Um, and then our other colleague, Jason Fabritz, is the uh, contributor to the open source.net Hedera SDK uh, and has been contributing code and uh, QA bug fixes, et cetera, to the Hedera network and services for a number of years. And then we really see Chad Weston, our chief design officer, and what Calyxy is doing to be kind of the solve for the fourth barrier to entry of user experience. Uh, you know, Hedera is a developer tool. It's a network for people to build on top of. And we think that these are, you know, Calyxy and what we're doing are one of the main applications that can solve this fourth challenge of user experience uh, and making it easier to manage and interact with, you know, DLTs and blockchain networks in general. So that's a little bit about our mission. Uh, we want to bring the creator economy to Hedera. We want to make it accessible to people. We want to take the speed, cost, performance benefits that Hedera has and make them easy to use and package them nicely for, for mainstream audiences. Um, now we're going to talk about how we use Hedera specifically. Um, I think that this is probably what's most interesting to the people tuning into this webinar. Uh, so if you have any questions, please write, write them down. We'll, We'll circle back to them uh, towards the end of the webinar during the Q&A session. Um, so at its very basic uh, basis, every single sign up on Galaxy is a new Hedera wallet activation. That means everyone joining the Galaxy app has access to the whole entire Hedera ecosystem. Uh, these wallets are non-custodial, so you hold and manage your private keys. If you want to take your Galaxy wallet uh, and put, put it into my HBAR wallet, put it into Hashpack, uh, put it into another third-party wallet service, as long as it's Hedera compatible and using their standards, uh, you can do so and take it wherever you want to go. And so this is really key. Uh, not only is Galaxy giving you access and onboarding users to Galaxy, uh, we're giving people access and onboarding them to the entire Hedera network and, and ecosystem. Um, beyond just giving them a Hedera account, every Galaxy account will have a decentralized identity associated to its Hedera wallet. Um, and what we're going to do is use this to build a user's reputation over time. Um, you know, Reddit has a wonderful example with their karma points, uh, how much you give back to your community, how big of a fan of some of these people you are, uh, should result in different types of behaviors and experiences and uh, engagements. Uh, for example, if you're the number one fan of Sarah Hamrick over here, who is a very popular uh, woman on Instagram and has a number of businesses, uh, maybe you get access to exclusive content or perks for her, from her. Um, and this is something that's really unique because this reputation and this decentralized identity is again portable across anyone who wants to integrate with the Hedera services 
and the Hedera network. So if you want to tap into the reputation that Galaxy or another third party has established, uh, you can easily do so. And so the vendor lock-in and portability across the ecosystem is something that just wasn't possible before building on a, on a blockchain or a distributed ledger. Um, and so every social token, right? We mentioned that every creator on Galaxy has their social tokens. Uh, Sarah has Sarah coin. Uh, she might call it something else than that, but she has her own social token. Spencer has her own social token. All of these social tokens will be initially backed one-to-one -one with a Dara-based USDC. So USDC is a popular stable coin um, managed by the center consortium. And what this does is it allows us to make it really digestible and easy for new audiences coming into crypto. If you're coming to Galaxy to buy a video call with Sarah, you want to know how much it costs. And if you buy that video call now, but want to redeem it in you know, a couple of weeks or months, you want to know that it's going to cost you the same amount. Um, and so that's really the fundamental value proposition that a stablecoin provides. And by actually collateralizing the social tokens with one to uh, one to one with USDC or an equivalent stablecoin, if Sarah wakes up one day and decides she no longer wants to be on Galaxy, or if she's unavailable for a video call or a video request, uh, you as an owner of her social token aren't locked into her economy and into her tokens. You can effectively get a refund uh, at any point which is a truly unique value proposition that Galaxy has versus other uh, social token platforms. Um, and this is, uh, to be very clear, this is a Hedera-based USDC that is issued on the Hedera token service. Anyone else that wants to build Hedera-based applications can also use Hedera-based USDC. Uh, it is a publicly known token address that is in the center as well as circle uh, documentation. Um, and so, you know, this is just one use case of Hedera USDC. There's nothing special about the version of Hedera USDC that we're using against any of the other ones. Uh, it's the same kind of token across the whole, the whole network. Um, and so these tokens will be initially backed one-to-one -one with Hedera-based USDC, but Galaxy and the creator's Galaxy has on-chain verifiable governance. If people in the community don't like USDC and want to vote in other popular stable coins, if they want alternative methods of collateralization, you know, ones, you know, methods of collateralization that aren't one-to-one -one backed or backed by dynamic pricing models like bonding curves or AMMs, uh, the community can propose that as a new standard and give that option to the creators. Um, you can see two screenshots here of a governance website that we are actively building um, where you can propose, you can choose the start and end date of the vote effectively, and your vote will be proportionate to the amount of Galaxy tokens uh, that you're holding. Um, this whole ecosystem and, and web, website will be uh, fully open sourced. Um, it uses the Hedera consensus service to create a verifiable log of ballots. It also logs a snapshot of the Galaxy tokens that people are holding. Uh, the votes and the result of the overarching vote. Um, this is a very generalizable infrastructure that's relevant to anyone who's building governance tokens or DAOs on Hedera. Um, the code base for the website for actually processing the Hedera consensus service messages, uh, taking snapshots, et cetera, uh, will be fully open sourced. And so if you are building um, DAO tooling on Hedera, um, we really encourage you to check out what we're doing at github.com slash the creators galaxy. Um, we will update actually a proposal later today, maybe tomorrow at the latest, which outlines all these standards and specifications for those Hedera consensus service messages. Uh, the specific ways that you create a new you know, consensus service topic can create a ballot, have users uh, have proportionate weight of those votes uh, within the consensus service topic and ultimately reach a decision uh, from the community in a completely anonymous and you know, decentralized way. Um, so please check out what we're doing at Hedera and uh, or doing on GitHub, um, especially if you're building different types of DAOs or different types of open source tools on Hedera. Uh, we really wanna be kind of leading the way with uh, all this open source infrastructure. 
Um, so this is just one example of the uh, ways that we're using both the Hedera token service and the Hedera consensus service. Um, you know, and another example of an open source tool that we've worked on is after the community makes a decision, a DAO or a multi-sig Hedera account can use this other tool that we've made to distribute Hedera token service-based tokens uh, using the network scheduled transactions. Uh, this token distribution tool is again, generalizable to any Hedera token service uh, asset. And we'll actually give a live demo of what this token service uh, token distribution tool does uh, in, a, in a minute or two. Um, but it is by far the easiest way that a, a single entity, a DAO, uh, or a group of people operating a multi-sig can move Hedera-based assets around. Um, and so it's, it's, it's really nice. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that during the demo. Um, it is expected that these tokens, as well as their collateral, can be managed with Hedera's new smart contracts 2.0 to be fully decentralized and censorship resistant. Um, the model right now is that you can send USDC to publicly known addresses that represent Sarah's liquidity pool of USDC, and those liquidity pools could be operated by a multi-sig or a qualified custodian. But we're really excited about Hedera's smart contracts to be able to move this entire logic and collateralization on chain. Uh, you know, we fundamentally believe one of the problems with Web2 and legacy creator monetization platforms is the inherent control that the platform operator has, as well as the uh, deplatforming risks associated with that. And so by moving these tokens, their creation, management, and collateralization to a smart contract based solution. Uh, we think that creators can have, you know, full ownership and control of their, uh, you know, Web3 economies. Um, so this is, you know, something we're super excited about um, and excited to be working with the Hedera team on, on integrating. Um, with fully collateralized tokens, whether those are backed by USDC, another popular stable coin, or even backed by, you know, Galaxy tokens on a bonding curve or backed by HBAR, uh, you can start doing other interesting things such as lending or staking uh, with those tokens and those pools of liquidity that you have. Um, so if anyone is building a DeFi protocol on Hedera's smart contracts, uh, you know, please reach out and get in touch with us. Uh, we have a lot of different social tokens, a lot of different NFTs, and a you know, reasonably significant amount of liquidity that's waiting to be used in interesting ways. Um, we will also likely be building some of our own DeFi based protocols, but, you know, again, this is an ecosystem uh, where anyone can build on top of. Um, and so we just want to provide, you know, the right pieces of the puzzle for uh, the community at large. Um, and so with that being said, that kind of covers the high level of how we use Hedera, whether it's the token service to actually create and manage and move those social tokens and NFTs around, uh, the consensus service for verifiable on-chain governance uh, with the weight of your impact on that governance proportionate to the Hedera token service. Uh, and also how we plan on using Hedera smart contracts to more trustlessly move some things around and provide interesting decentralized financial opportunities. Um, so we have two different product demos. I'm going to give a very brief demo of the Hedera token service distribution tool. Um, this is, again, the easiest way to facilitate airdrops, treasury management, giveaways of Hedera token service based assets. Uh, it is fully open source at github.com slash the creators galaxy. Uh, we highly encourage you to use it. Um, if it is not yet tailored for your use case, if you want to give out, you know, 10,000 NFT profile picture, pictures to a whitelisted list of Hedera accounts, uh, reach out to us, let us know your use case, and we can prioritize it accordingly. Um, we hope that this becomes, you know, kind of a valuable tool for, for the rest of the ecosystem. Um, also, shout out to Jason Fabritz, who is on my engineering team at Hedera. You may know him within the Hedera community as Bug Bytes Inc., um, the author of the .NET SDK. Uh, he has done a wonderful job building out this functionality. Um, so I will swap this back over to my screen. Um, 
And so this is an example of a distribution file. Uh, so what this is, is just a, a very generic comma separated value of CSV file. And you can see that it's 250 test distributions. Uh, in the first column, you see someone's Hedera account. And in the second column, you see a quantity of Hedera token service tokens that they are entitled to receive. Um, you know, the logic or mechanism by which these values are determined could be up to you as, you know, the user of the tool. Uh, you could just airdrop everyone one token. Uh, it could be some fluctuating function of engagement or how early they were into your Discord. Um, but all this, you know, CSV format is, is a uh, list of Hedera accounts as well as token quantities that they're expected to receive. Um, Jason has also done a wonderful job building a test scenario creator uh, that'll go create as many accounts as you want and automatically associate them with the Hedera token service token that you want to distribute. Um, so it's a really nice way that you can bootstrap a test scenario and test environment. Um, I'm going to drag from my other screen the actual distribution tool itself. Um, I have already pre-populated this with, um, you know, pointing to testnet and it's pointing to a specific Hedera token. And I've added in this efficient amount of private keys. In this scenario, there is a two of three multi-sig operating as the treasury of, you know, whatever hypothetical token this is. It uses the native Hedera multi-sig um, services that they have. You know, Hedera supports multi-threshold keys out of the box. Um, and so we just leverage that. And then it uses the scheduled transaction function of Hedera to basically, you know, coordinate transaction uh, signing across multiple parties. Um, you can see that this, uh, you know, these values line up to this spreadsheet that I've populated it with. Uh, you can parse through all the details and you can see kind of the aggregate metadata, uh, how many tokens are currently in treasury and how many tokens would be transferred in this distribution. Um, so this is a live demo against Hedera's testnet. It may or may not work. Um, this tool is actively under development. If you go to the README, you'll see that it's, it has a disclaimer that it hasn't yet been audited. Uh, we're very much looking forward to working with third-party auditing services. Uh, but I'll just throw out another disclaimer that if you do use this, uh, use it at your own risk and have some familiarity with Hedera before using it. Um, but let's try to execute this distribution to 250 different Hedera accounts uh, and see what happens. And so you can see it's, it's processing. There's a couple different states. You can see scheduling, countersigning, and confirming. Um, and then if you want to, you can actually see the full details here um, in real time as it's updating and, and going through this kind of workflow. Uh, you can see the transaction ID for the schedule transaction and see the actual distribution. Um, and you can uh, see that it is magically completed and it scheduled all 250 uh, transactions. Uh, if I want to, I can save this output to a file uh, Let's just say output example uh, webinar. And it will download to my local computer. Um, and then you have access to all of this information um, on your local machine. Um, if you wanted to, you could you know, take any of these transaction IDs and go look at them on a Hedera Network Explorer. Uh, you can see that the status of these is that they are scheduled. They have not yet been countersigned or submitted to the network uh, because this is a treasury acting in a two of three multi-sig. So what that means is that you'd have to have the other party or other member of the multi-sig with the same spreadsheet. They would go and they would run the same tool, but they would populate it with different private keys that are attached to the same treasury. Uh, so that way they can use this tool to coordinate tr uh, transaction signing on the network and in a much more secure way, uh, distribute all the tokens that it was intended to. Um, you could imagine this being a five of, you know, seven key or, a, you know, a 20 person plus DAO that all has to have access to the right inputs and key is to distribute all of these tokens. Um, 
So this is just one of the many open source tools that we've been working on. Uh, we think that it is part of a full stack DAO solution. Uh, you need ways to you know, define a governance token to coordinate votes with that token. Uh, in our case, we use the Hedera consensus service. And then after decisions have been made, you need some way that the DAO or a multi-sig can actually move tokens around and allocate funds based on those decisions. Um, so that is kind of the end of the token distribution tool, just supposed to be a quick insight into what we're working on there. 